This is absolutely, without a doubt, Tourist Central. Yup. I speak Spanish, English, and my language, Chiquel. Hey, welcome to Guatemala. Buenos dias! Welcome to the beautiful city of Antigua. We're excited to explore this city with you. But before we jump in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Did you know this city has been rebuilt several times? Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it used to be the capital city until about like 1773, where there was a huge earthquake that pretty much destroyed the city. I hear you, baby. All that is absolutely true. But I'm talking about when the Spanish came, the people who were already here was like, nah, and they burned this puppy down. Okay, so, well, when was it destroyed? Because it was founded in like 1524. Founded? How you gonna find something that ain't been lost? Oh, uh, it was burnt down in 1527. Wow. So today we're gonna dig into this ruined city, you guys, and see if we can find the beauty that exists here. But we're gonna also dig into the real history of this place and see if we can find any remnants of the original people that were here before it got found. Right now we are in the heart of Antigua at Parque Central. Also known as Central Park, y'all, in English. <laughs> this is like the social hangout area of the city, but it's also the area where you'll see a lot of Antigua's history in one place. Absolutely. Surrounded by museums, cafes, bistros, all kinds <laughs> of Lots of here. vendors. If one vendor stops you, two or three more vendors will be pulling up right behind you. Oh, buenos dias. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Antigua is a beautiful city and just walking around you can see why so many people are flocking to this area. Yeah, it has a quiet charm that just kind of jumps off the page at you. Uh, these buildings are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They really give you a good like hint of the Spanish colonial architecture, that, that ancient feel, but I gotta say it's pretty clean too, man. It is, it is. And a lot of people are like attracted to that old colonial charm. Mm -hmm. But you guys, not only is it beautiful, but it is an earthquake prone region. So in my eyes, I think that's part of the attraction here. It's earthquake prone. It's been rebuilt several times. Yeah. Um, and in the rebuilding of that, these little scars that the building have, I think we'll call it character. Um, okay. It's nice to look at. That's right, because uh, you know, there's a lot of ruins that still exist in and around the city. Uh, one of our missions today is to see how many of those ruins we can find just to get a better um, idea of the history of the area and to be able to appreciate what makes this city so unique. Part of what I would like to see is the uh, original people, the Maya. Uh, see if we can find any of them here in this rebuilding of their area. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to see if we can find the remnants of the people who were originally on this land before it was founded. behind me it's a magnificent sight to see but it's also a better understanding of what things might have looked like in Antigua before that major earthquake in 1773. These ruins are scattered throughout the city's landscape. Some you pay about the equivalent of five dollars or 40 quetzales admission. To others you can investigate on your own. We used an app called GPS My City, which gave details and locations of the ruins. 
I know it's crazy that we're so obsessed with uh, looking at ruins and studying these things, but yeah, we find it interesting. And yes, we also find it interesting that there was a rebuilding process that happened time and time again. As we understand it, I guess a major earthquake hits this area every 40 years. Uh, so when people ask us, are we considering retirement here? Um, nah, bruh. Alright y'all, we got a little hungry so we had to stop for a little bit of lunch. Yes, there's a place in Antigua, uh, the north end, called El Bosque, which is the forest. And if you caught our live, then you saw us roll through here and kind of give a bit of a tour. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't catch the live, uh, if you're a Patreon, it's available to you uh, at the Patreon's website. Alright, <laughs> so, which is in the description by the way, but El Bosque has you know, a handful of restaurants, but a lot of beautiful space out here. Gorgeous space. Uh, a great space to come out with friends and family, just kind of socialize. But there's a bar in Terrace from the famous Antigua Cerveza. They, I think they have what might be considered their headquarters here. Um, but there's also this restaurant. We just ordered a pizza and we're really looking forward to getting to it right now called La Cote. La Cosecha. Right. Uh, we also ordered a couple of their um, seasonal beers. Seasonal beers. I have a tropical and this is a coffee and they are both damn good. Yeah, mm. try that day. Okay. So, um, really enjoying our, our time out here, you guys, uh, and, and catching this footage for you. It's just a, a very interesting city. Um, very it's definitely interesting. one that feels like a getaway. What's a getaway without a place to retreat to? Our little home was secured via Airbnb and costed us about $50 per night. The king-sized bed and open space studio was great for our needs. The cons? The Wi-Fi signal was weak and there were upcharges in every quarter of this Airbnb. $5 for early check-in, $5 for late checkout, beverages and snacks all for a fee. It was comfortable, stylish, and clean. But beware, there are upcharges everywhere. And, um, you know, it's definitely a place that we would recommend visiting but this area too is also like a bit of solitude in the middle of the city. This is a bustling city, but it's not it's like not that. crowded like a huge city. The cobblestone streets, the beautiful homes sitting in this valley of these three humongous volcanoes, one active. It's a pretty interesting scene. It's something we've never experienced before. So being able to like come in here and duck out from the yeah. city, the small city and go in and out of the manicured pathways that they paved out here in El Bosque, enjoying some really good brews from Antigua Cerveza, um, it's getting special. some bites to eat. Never have I ever been in an Airbnb that has a, <laughs> a, mini, a, bar. a mini bar you, know you got to pay for. Um, but it's here, you know what I'm saying? This is Tour Central and that's what's going on. When people knew we were coming to Guatemala, mm -hmm. everyone recommended that we visit this city. Hit up Antigua! <laughs> you need to go to Antigua. It's the most beautiful city ever. So it seemed to be a hot tourist attraction. This is absolutely, without a doubt, Tourist Central. Yep, and mm -hmm. we can see why. Look, uh, it's a gorgeous city, beautiful city, but it is tourism square y'all yeah they everywhere we everywhere, we everywhere. <laughs> for the first day here you guys I really was having trouble trying to find a local person that was born here or that lived here from here and was staying mm -hmm. in the city uh, everybody that we talked to uh, resided outside the city and came to the city to get money from tourists yeah Tourism. we've seen lots and lots of foreigners you know along with ourselves yeah. walking these Antiguan streets it's not an overcrowded city. The tourists aren't just from the U.S., mm -hmm. they're from all over the world, so that's mm -hmm. always interesting, yeah. right? And, you know, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, and the vibe is, is rather laid back. Exactly, but I gotta tell you a story, okay? So, 
Last night we walked up to La Merced oh. Church. Night is on my mind. You know the sun is still shine, but the night is on my mind. We're just out trying to find out what the night has to offer here. Um, I really can't see you because I got this light in my face, but I'm hoping you can see my wife and me staggered. Um, out here trying to find a bite to eat, trying to find out what's popping out here, man. So we on a on a on a on a mission to see. What is that called? Recon. We on a recon mission, y'all. Also trying not to break my ankle on this cobblestone road. Yeah, we do art markets at night, y'all. That's what we do. That's what we into now. It's so thick. Touch them. Touch them. Yeah, they are thick. You don't think I'll wear them, do you? Yeah, yeah. I know you will wear them. Y'all don't know me, YouTube. You don't know me like that. Look, he actually had two pairs of red pants in right his wardrobe rate. at the same time. I don't care. And look good in them too. Show the brown boots and had a whole world on pause. Like damn. <laughs> So I don't know who's buying these masks, but they freaked me out and I could not wait to get up out of here. <laughs> ah, no gracias, but thank you, thank you, thank you. All the folks is out here tonight, baby. Um, all the restaurants are filled. All the street vendors have people out here getting their grub on. Um, it's only about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, but it seems to be pretty vibrant here. I don't know what they're serving here, but they're packed. The lines are uh, pretty long for all three vendors around this particular church. I uh, might have to inquire and find out what exactly when it's fresh. selling. If you like the relationship you have with your money, you need to uh, keep, it, keep close. it close to you. You need to nurture that relationship because these people here are trying to come between you and your relationship with your dough. Trying to separate you from your dollar and there's so many reasons why I just want to give. Mm -hmm. oh, we encountered this little girl yesterday who came to try to sell us some of what she had, some artisan goods that she had. Yeah. Oh, gracias, but no gracias, no gracias. no gracias. It's bonita, but no. I see you working hard, girl. <laughs> oh, it is, a it is a magnet. I see, I see. It's a beautiful magnet. She had this big little square thing with a bunch of stuff in there. Look, my girl was going hard. Oh, she was. She has a future as a salesperson, for real. <laughs> she was like, okay, potential customers, how can I keep them? She put the smile on, she put the glimmer in mm -hmm. her eye. Um, it, it was touching and it broke my heart all at the same time. And we ended up kicking it with her and her family right. for a minute because, you know, they just really were, were seemed to be some cool people. Yeah, um, broke a little bread. We ain't buy no birds, but I broke a little <laughs> bread and just yeah. had fun getting to know them and they seemed interested in getting yeah. to know us. And yeah. it was an, just an overall really authentic experience. Yeah, now again, that's what we live for. But the simple fact that that little girl knew how to work it was, oh, was yeah. that man, she is 10 years old. Mm -hmm. um, fast forward to today and we weren't we're not able to spit we that's why we spitting back here in the forest y'all we were not able to talk on the square without being approached consistently yeah. and constantly <clears throat> the people who are selling you these different these different odds and ends you know they come from tribes they come from families right outside the city or maybe even possibly on the other side of the country uh, but you are supporting for the most part by and large I believe uh, the, the the culture in this place the stuff ain't made in China like they told us the same made in China <laughs> Thank you. Un poco, un poco. Sí, sí. Um, my name, right? Abril. Mi nombre es Abril. Abril. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Ajá. Esta sale por 300 quetzales. 300. Porque es bordado. This is not a make in China. It's my family embroidery in my home. But you very beautiful lady. The price is last. 
because I don't have good business. I carry 75 pounds. Like, Ooh, All my stuff Ooh. is very heavy. I don't have a store because it's expensive with you pay a store. Uh, Where is this made? What's what's uh what city? It's my, my mother and my village. I Mayan. Oh. I don't speak I speak Spanish, English and my language, Chiquel. Chiquel? You said thank you, Matios. Matios. Uh -huh. What's your name? And Chique Abi. And Chique Abi. And Chique Abi. Welcome to Guatemala. Oh my goodness, muchas gracias. So I'm learning a bit of mine. I'm looking and for the village in the Antigua is 27 yeah. village. 27 villages. 27 oh, villages. The, the language. Bayan, Cachiquel, Quechi, Mam, Sutuil. All is different. But I Beautiful. The Mayan, Cachiquel. I all we're finding is all the Spanish stuff. I want to know the original people, the Maya people that used to I live Mayan, here. I Mayan weaver. My family weaving in my home. My village is 15 kilometers. Okay. I'm taking the chicken bus in the morning, 8 in the morning. Okay. And I come into selling all the stuff for my family. See. Si. I carry nice things because it's, not, it's heavy. I yeah. bet you it is. It's good. That's good balance though. My gosh. Uh, I work in here for 30 years. My family is Mayan. But the problem in Guatemala is very sad because the, the government is helping the rich people that have a big store. Si. And the tourists come to Guatemala, they know where they buy. But with I meet people, I talk to and I explain. It's very important because you buy for the people making it home. Si. You don't buy in the richest store. They, they have a thing from China. But my thing is always for family living in the village. Wow. You touch here, it's heavy. I like that. I like oh, that. I know it's heavy. heavy. I look at it. I look at it. Uh-huh. And the hat is beautiful. I got it many colors beautiful. See, see, see. And see. you're walking yes, everywhere. It's so hot. <clears throat> Can you find, are there any tribes that, that are, are still in this town? Or are everyone that was from this town, they just move around the town? Ah, yeah, all this move. I've already moved. Because it is expensive. It's expensive? Many people from Europe and America, United States, they... See, they yeah, yeah, we call that gentrification. Uh -huh, see, but see, they see. don't cause it to, to stay more here because they rent or they sell in and they, they buy in the village. Okay. I have a friend from United States, they live here. They retire mm -hmm. and they buy a little apartment and they live here for 20 years. And they stay here, they come in the morning drink coffee, come back and home. No working more because they retire. Yeah, okay, and I okay. know these people for 20 years. These good guys. It's beautiful. Because they work hard in the United States. Where are you from? Well, your English is really good. Florida, Florida, Florida. Michigan. Michigan. See, si, si. This is your first time in Guatemala. Yeah, yeah. We've been in, in Mexico for a few years and oh, now yeah. we're here. So. You like? I do, I do like, but there's so many gringos here. It's yeah, like here, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we're foreigners, but many there's so many. But yeah. you got to visit other places or just Antigua? Uh, Guatemala City. We were in Guatemala City. It's busy, I don't like it. It's, it's busy. busy. What would you recommend? I, I heard Atatlan was nice and there were not. Atatlan. See. Si. Mm -hmm. Panajachel. Panajachel. Uh, you go there or you been? We, have we have not been yet. yet. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful? Very I heard nice. it was muy yeah. bonita. What's, si. what's the best way to, to travel there? You go to you go to the taxi or Uber. You don't okay. go in chicken bus. It's okay. not good. Okay. Many chicken bus is cheap though. Chicken yeah, bus is cheap. it's cheaper, but be careful because uh, many, many people, people pray. Okay, 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 okay. They look tourists. They think. to our little friend from the first night and it completely caught us off guard while we were filming La Merced and there she was she remembered us and approached us unafraid we were so glad we got to see her and her family again because guys it was our last day shooting on the way out of the city so it was really special to us <laughs>
Hey you guys, thanks so much for exploring the city with us today. For real, for real. We had a good time hanging out with you uh, and you guys are awesome. <laughs> uh, look, before you go, why don't you check out these next videos and we'll see you there.